Do you want to share your games between your Xbox consoles in your house? Well then make sure you stay tuned because I'm going to show you how to make that happen in just a second. Welcome back everybody and thank you for being here. My name is Wayne and I help parents navigate the gaming world. Now, let's go ahead and get this started. So in order to share your games between the two different Xbox consoles, you need to make sure that you're setting up the My Home Xbox feature. And you need to do this on the console opposite of the account that you are buying the games and buying the Xbox Live on. For example, my son and I, we both have our own Xboxes and I like to share some of the games that I buy for him or basically I buy the games on my account and then I share them onto his Xbox console. So what I have to do is set the My Home Xbox on his console. <laughs> Now, if you're stumbling across this video and you're hearing me talk about my home Xbox settings and game share and you're really not even sure what game share is on the Xbox, then make sure you check out this video right here where I kind of explain what the basics of game share is. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump on the console itself and I'll show you the steps that you need to take in order to set up the home Xbox feature. All right, so as you can see, we are on the Xbox now. So if you're on the console that you want to share with, you would log into your account and then you would go down to settings. You would click on general and then go over to personalization and then just go down to my home Xbox. And if you haven't done so yet, then you would just click on this, make this my home Xbox. Once you've done that, you're all set. You should be ready to go and share. You can also go over to your my games and apps and then you'll want to go down to the full library once you're signed in and you should be able to see all the uh, games that you know are being shared with you which you haven't downloaded yet so for instance brawlhalla uh you know madden and nba those are all games that my account is now sharing with my son's xbox and if i wanted to i could download each of these games onto his console all right, so now that we have the my home xbox settings set up uh, there are a couple things that you might want to keep in mind so one thing that you need to know is obviously when you're sharing your games like this, you're giving someone else access to this. So please make sure that you're sharing this with someone that you do trust. As well, uh, keep in mind that you can only share these five times in a year. So you know if you're doing this kind of willy nilly and you're going to your friend's house and you're sharing it with them and then you go over to the next place and you share it with them, you come back home and you need to put it back on your child's account, you know, pretty quickly you could necessarily run out of those times to change that. So make sure you just keep that in mind and you're only changing it you know, less than five times in a year. And now one way around not having to worry about, you know, losing your game share and my, changing that my home Xbox setting is, you know, if you are just going to your friend's house for one night and you're both going to be there playing on the same console, uh, it's actually going to be a little bit easier if you just simply log into his account. You can still go to my library, download the game that you own onto his Xbox and then play those games with you signed in to his Xbox. And then simply when you're ready to leave, you just log out and you remove your account from his Xbox and you know the access to those games are no longer there and you're not worried about losing one of your changes on the My Home Xbox setting. And so speaking of, you know, going to a friend's house and needing to you know, now remove that My Home Xbox setting, but you're not really sure the steps to take, then make sure you check out this video right here where I show you how to do that. And without further ado, guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.